Hi, I have some cheerful, colorful, fruit themed decor DIYs today. For the first DIY, I'm starting with a mason jar which has been emptied, cleaned, labels removed, don't need the cap, and painted all white with a sponge applicator and diluted white chalk paint. Using White as a base is very important if you want to add cheerful colors or you want your colors to stand out. Having a white background to begin with is really helpful. I want to make it look like a base. So I'm starting with some red color on the top half of my mason jar. I'm just using my brush and applying it. No hard and fast rules. Don't have to be too strict with yourself. Just enjoy the whole thing. After the red in the bottom half, leaving a thin strip of white in between to highlight and make the colors prominent pop out. I've left a little thin strip of white and the rest below I'm using a lighter shade of green. Once the lighter green is done, I'm using a deeper, denser shade of green to make those lines that are there on the watermelon peel or the you know coat cover <laughs> to give it more authentic watermelon look. Finally, there have to be seeds. Now it's easy if you take a round tip pen, just touch the place and pull it lightly. You get the perfect seed shape here. And I'm just adding some watermelon seeds. Let this dry. Now to add a little bit of decor touch to it, I'm taking a bit of jute string, tying it around the neck and making a simple bow cool refreshing watermelon base use it as a base or use it to hold brushes pens or cutlery for my second diy i have another mason jar in hand it's cleaned no need the cap this time i'm using my sponge applicator and a color which is lemon yellow color slightly yellowish green color or let's say pineapple color i have diluted my paint purposefully and applying it with the sponge just a single coat now i don't want that foamy sea glass look here rather the diluted paint will gradually merge with each other and will have something like a paper lantern look or a stained glass look once it dries up I want it to be a little translucent, not perfectly opaque like my first DIY. So once it's dry, I'm going to give it the authentic look using some strokes which will make it look like the pineapple eye or the shapes will be formed. So making little V's here to make it look authentic. I'm taking a green satin ribbon to tie up around the neck portion to make it look neater now i wanted to make this translucent because i want it to be functional as well so i'm using a battery operated candle which can be placed inside the jar and the translucent walls of the jar will let the light come out of it and to cover it and give it the complete look of pineapple one can add something green you can make green leaves for pineapple out of green craft paper or use an artificial succulent and place it on the top. And I have a pineapple luminary or a pineapple lantern made within minutes. DIY number three. You must be thinking I'm crazy. These are stones, rocks I picked from a riverbed. But let's craft with them. So I'm going to use different colors here and enjoy my time painting these rocks and making them look like pretty cut fruits, colorful, juicy, shiny, bright, happy fruits. It's a fun craft. It's meant to enjoy and cherish the movement that you have with you. And every time you look at these pieces, they're going to make you smile. Where did I get this idea as well? My today's video is 
inspired by the theme picked by Connie from Connie's Creative Creation. Recently, she made a video which was based on fruit crafts and I liked it. She had some wonderful ideas and I picked her theme to create something which is similar to her and show you some of my ideas. Some of these ideas are definitely taken from Pinterest as well. So do check out Kony's channel and her video. I'll link them both down below. And my today's video is part of the Women Supporting Women. Here's your crown collaboration, which is hosted again by Kony from Kony's Creative Creation and Amanda from Six Kids and a Clue Gun. And you'll find the links to Amanda and Kony's channel down in my description box along with this month's playlist for more inspiring ideas. So I made summer fresh sweet watermelon slice. Next I made this beautiful strawberry sumptuous. I also made healthy avocado and very unique pomegranate. So healthy, so pretty. And then something interesting because my son loves it so i made a green apple aren't these fruits so cute put them on a tray and use them as decor use them as paperweight they just look so cute tuck them somewhere tuck them in your dining space or kitchen area they look so cute so I have a full display of fruit salad for a healthy suburbs to come. For my fourth DIY, I took a cardstock paper in white and using a lid, I sketched a circle and cut out a few white circles out of it, rounds out of it. And then I'm using a few color pens in different shades they just need to be in shades that you can relate with fruits, citrus fruits especially. So these are going to be cut out fruits. Take a cardstock paper and this idea is great if you want to have some funky summer themed parties. So I'm just using a darker shade and a lighter shade. Just two colors on one slice and making the pulp portion or the slice portion of the fruit so I made some six of them here to show you you can make endless number of them it's fun crafting on your own but if you are short of time or don't want to craft internet is just 
full of printables and fruit slices or fruit cutouts just abundant print them out cut them and use them i love the colors they are so bright and happy so once all my slices are done i'm just folding it into half and then one more time just to find the center and then taking fine scissors i'm making two nicks just to form a cross this cross will enable me to fix a straw inside and any size of straw whether thin or thick will fit in and snugly stay put with the slice as a straw topper again i made nick like a cross now this holds on to the straw even if it is a thinner one or a thicker one so you need not measure the size and wherever you want to place your straw topper it will stick to that portion of the straw and here i have a bouquet of fruity flowers no flowery fruits <laughs> whatever so a bunch of them just put them in a clear jar and it's a beautiful display decor as well as utility items especially for party ideas so what do you think about my today's fruit theme diy's i have an array of summer fruits they are beautiful colorful cheerful i enjoyed making them do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you're new here do consider subscribing with all notifications bell if you enjoyed do give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you very soon until then stay positive be creative and be happy thank you so much